stop what you're doing, kick back, and enjoy the view. Then, before Viagra, before my dog, you won't believe the gadgets people used back in the day to look and feel sexy. It's a hilarious house of horrors on the Joy Spot. to another installment of The Joy Spot. My guest today is the curator of the Museum of Questionable Medical Devices in Minneapolis, which houses the largest collection of bogus and bizarre medical equipment in the world. Please welcome a man with way too much free time on his hands, <laughs> Bob McCoy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Bob, thank you. okay, what have you got here? Now, well, these, these are things that are in your museum. They are devices that were used years and years ago to help women get through their lives. Yes, this, okay. these vibrators, if they were plugged in, they would vibrate. And they were popular in the early part of this century for curing something it's called... It's not plugged in? Now, how am I supposed to use this if it's not plugged in? Okay. It's supposed to cure hysteria. Yeah, I'm hysterical that I can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's really kind of a nasty thing to do to a woman, you know? You give her the thing and then it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. Well, they did make some with batteries and some with... Batteries, the... hello? Okay, now, and the next a... thing, what is well, this? Well, this is a foot-operated breast enlarger pump. This is, this, <laughs> this is like, you know, uh, a kind of like an inhaler for Hugh Hefner right there. Yeah, go ahead. Now, you can see if this really worked, it would make women lopsided because it only does one side at a time. And uh, actually, what it actually... There it is. Come on up here. I want to try this out on you. <laughs> this is supposed to make her boobs bigger? Well, we hope so. Okay, let's you see. Ready Do for you this? mind, darling? No, 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 please. <laughs> wait, wait. It fell apart. We're having, we're having mechanical troubles here today. Just, okay, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, moo. Moo Ooh, bigger. Wow. <laughs> is, it, is it getting bigger? It feels bigger. <laughs> What do you like? You squeeze your nipples and let the air out, or what? How does that work? You better answer that. I can't. Okay. Okay. It's kind of like a um, a condom for Patrick Ewing, isn't it? You might say it so. Looks like okay. <laughs> Next. Well, sorry. No. Okay. If now wait a second. Wait. Let's just get people up to speed here. This was for women. Women had problems in the old days. The doctors used to use these these vibrators because women would be upset and hysterical in their lives. They didn't realize it was sexual frustration, right? That's right. So they would go into the doctor's office, and the doctor would manually stimulate them, and then they got tired, like all men. <laughs> and so then they came into see, they came into being. Isn't that interesting? I love that. <laughs> now the fact that your insurance doesn't cover this is annoying. Okay, now, the men had issues also in those days, right? Well, they are worse gullible than the women were. Can you guess what this is? It's a prostate gland warmer. <laughs> you know, now, that is what I call a really bad idea. Okay. So, go ahead, how does this work? Well, the light bulb regulates the amount of wattage here. This is a rectal device. According to the U.S. patent in 1918, it's supposed to excite a man's abdominal brain. I say. Did you know men had abdominal so, brains? Wait a second, this is like pre-Viagra. Uh, you might say yeah. so, yes. Can you see Bob Dole using this? I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's go. Next, what's this? Uh, an 1880 device called the Timely Warning. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, nocturnal emissions are a very serious problem with young people. And Especially at night. I hate that. <laughs> And when, if someone would have an, an amorous dream, yeah. and this were around their penis, it would wake them up because inside their little needles that uh, press against the male organ and uh, okay. supposed to wake it up. Woody Allen had his famous phrase. He wanted it just long enough to where he had to start wearing glasses. You know, he thought that uh, this okay. caused blindness. Fine, yes, I assume. <laughs> and this? What's this? This is a device that makes... What? That particular thing, I just love that we put it on the program. Yeah. I'm thrilled. Okay, and this one? This one? This makes hair grow. Now, really? You need to find someone who can... Well, let's see. All right, now uh, we need a bald subject here. We need a bald subject. And I have one right here, ladies and gentlemen. Do you mind if I do this, Phil? I'm going to just do put I, it lightly on your head. Do I have a choice? Do you want to try the other one? Would you try the prostate warmer instead? Take it off. Okay. All right, then. Oh. Bob McCoy, thanks for stopping by oh. the Joy Spot. And if you've got an idea for a Joy Spot, email us on I'm our website. The we'll be right warmer. back. Thank you very much. Oh.